You'd better keep your mouth shut about this place. Can't trust anyone. Stop what I'm doing. To talk to you. I'm being sarcastic. Leave me alone. Roy Brown, again. Plenty of his records survived, somehow. So here's something that happened in the Commonwealth that I have overheard from two people who I do not believe were known. There was that old, uh, silent person. Uh, stay away from it. Well, I guess. I mean, this is the part that I heard, and I thought it was weird. Raiders attack. I don't. I. I, just, I don't know why. But okay, 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 okay. Blah, 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 blah. The, the weird part. So now Parsons is uh, It's abandoned. Like totally. So I guess, I mean, something must have happened, right? And it must have been pretty serious. <laughs> but maybe we'll never know. Anyway, weird, right? <laughs> news. Yep, that's, uh... That's the news! Back to the, uh... Ha! Back to the music! Uh, how about Johnny Mercer? I kind of wonder if this one is supposed to be a joke. Does anyone know?
Lost track of how many blisters I got. Too many miles on the road. At least the pay is. What? This place just has farmers? Nobody wanna fight this was a stupid animal. Or the maniacs celebrate for a mini game, am I right? The farm's not much, but it's something. I know I'm not the only person here who's lost someone. Hey, is there something you need? I want to trade a few things. Sure thing. Just let me know if there's anything else you need. Hope you ain't one of them sins. You're a spy on me. Nights like this, a warm spot with a cold beer would be heaven. Farming's as honest as honest work gets. Huh? Carla. Back again? Time to do business? I'll think about it. I only got time. We Carla. Get more Back again? Soon. Time to do Never business? Sure. Sure. Let's take a look. I got a little bit of... Uh-huh. Hey, Carla. You again. Here to trade? Let's see what you have. Here's what I got.
Nights like this, one stop for you. Red. Maybe constantly trying to kill us. Fallout. So the the Minutemen are out there doing things in the Commonwealth. What kind of things, you ask? Well, I will I will tell you. I have heard that they huh, that they have taken over the castle. Which I guess was theirs a long time ago, but it hasn't been for a while. It had been full of fish? Or monsters? Or monster fish? Maybe? I don't know. I didn't re that, not relevant! The Minutemen are there now! That's good. For them. And I guess for everyone else too. So! Yeah! How about... How about some music? Louis Jordan is up next. It's about Louis, but don't be fooled. This one I can relate to, because I don't like talking to people. Don't take offense to Marcy. Everyone hear that? She's working through the loss in her own way. Hey, easy living. This ain't. Thank you. It's like I can finally think.
I gave up alcohol after settling down here. Doctor said I shot my liver. Just when you think you're safe, you're not. That's how they always get you. Why do you look like I want to chit chat? Get back to Diamond City one of these days. Nick, I ever time to hit the road. Let's the head out. Well, all right. Today, we activate our nuclear reactor, ensuring that we will persevere you know, long after there is the world this chunk of Nick Valentine history exist. I've been hoping to put a bow ensuring on for a while now. A I could use a hand if you're willing to take we a crack no at it. desire to interfere in the unimportant details. Sure of thing. What's the case? Well, this one's straight. Once upon a time in the land of Boston, there lived a king of organized crime, Eddie Winter. He was a bad man who did a lot of bad things, hurt a lot of innocent people, but he knew the end was coming. So he sealed himself inside a personal shelter located underneath the sub shop he used as a headquarters. And that mankind will thrive under our Eddie Winter was from my time real scumbag. The story gets even more twisted. The arrogant bastard wanted to cheat death, live forever, so he could come out of that shelter someday into this brave new world. Sound familiar? Only Eddie didn't want to be a frozen banana. No cryo sleep for him, no. He invested his money in some sick, crazy radiation experiment. I have. Uh -huh. Eddie Winter went and turned himself into a ghoul 200 years before it was fashionable. Hell, he was probably the first one. And I'm convinced that he's still locked inside that shelter. Say, I'm going to find him and kill him. I don't get it, Nick. Why kill Eddie Winter, even if he is still alive? This sounds like some kind of vendetta. No, I've got memories of a, of a girl. My girl. They're not really my memories, I know that. They're Nick's. But the girl, she was real. She was beautiful and innocent. And Winter killed her. Now he's got to pay the price. So, knowing that... Are you in? All right, Nick. Let's get the bad guy. You're a good man. Now, I know where Winter's vault is, but the door... Back in the day, he recorded ten... We find all of those holotapes, we get all the numbers. We get... I've been putting together a file on this one for a while now. There's a pair of holotapes in here worth listening to, uh, including one of Winter's managed to snatch from the Cambridge Police Evidence Lockup before getting swarmed by ferals. My gut tells me the Boston Police Evidence Terminals are the key to cracking this one. It's probably worth paying a visit you, uh, to any of the... enjoyed that song by Warren Smith, because I can't I've take been told the valent... ...kind detective agency sign... Uh, hi. Uh, so, <clears throat> here's a, an update for you, uh, about things that are happening, you know, in the Commonwealth. You know that big ship? That, uh, the old sailing ship? The, uh, the one that's on top of a building downtown? Th yes, that ship. Well, I would, uh, avoid it if I were you. I mean, you know, more than, eh, more than you'd already avoid the rest of downtown, which should already be, I don't know, a lot. 
I mean, it's, it's, it's still there. It's just, uh, it's just in a different place now. It's now, uh, huh. well, now it's stuck in the side of, a huh, another building downtown. Not, uh, not the sort of thing you would expect from an old ship or really any ship, actually, but, uh, life in the Commonwealth. Gotta put the music closer to the mic. Ah, oh, stupid. Do you do you know someone who gambles? Then maybe this will make you laugh. Or, uh, I guess it might make you really unhappy. Detective Valentine, Captain Widmark here. I'd just like to reiterate. But they sure bring in the business. Detective Valentine, Captain Widmark here. I'd just like to reiterate how excited we here at the Boston Police Department are that you'll be joining our investigation. Commissioner Turner has already regaled me with the tales of your adventures in Chicago. As you know, Edward L. Eddie Winter has been a pox on this beautiful city for nearly two decades. Extortion, murder, racketeering, kidnapping, name a crime he's committed. The epitome of a cold-blooded, brilliant, slippery crime boss. Fortunately for us, over the years, Winter has also developed that most self-destructive of character traits, uh, supreme arrogance. Starting a little over a year ago, Winter stopped coding his correspondences and began communicating entirely via unencrypted holotape. Each one addressed the subject in question and very clearly signed off by Winter himself. He's obviously mocking the authorities. He knows we're monitoring his communications. He doesn't care. Winter thinks he's untouchable. He's wrong. This is when the game changes. Those holotapes are the key to building a case against Eddie Winter, and they're what this task force will focus on. His crimes, his words, total self-incrimination. Get those holotapes, and we get Winter. Should get in some more target practice. You'd better keep your mouth shut about this place. You can't trust anyone. Let me know if there's anything I can do to lighten the load, or... I'm looking forward to the next mission. You know what? Since we talked, I'm feeling swell. Look at the two of us here in Sanctuary. We 
Constantly trying to kill us, but the Commonwealth never lacks for excitement. It was an honor to fight at your side. Hey there. Ready for the next mission, sir? Have you got all the gear you need? Absolutely. Let's move out. Right behind you, sir. Nothing stays hidden forever. At least, not if I have my say. Can't afford to let your guard down, no matter how quiet things seem. Thank you. It's like I can finally think straight. Can't remember the last time I had clean fingernails. 